an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Welcome to my craft corner. This is just a quick little techie tip video. I share my Evernote notebook on current products. I have every single current product listed here with the images. All of it is in here, um, including the holiday catalog. I share my notebook but I only share the right to view my notes. One of the nice things about Evernote is you can look at just the things you don't want. You don't necessarily want to look at every product when you're looking for um, a, the stamp that you want for a card that you're making. You only want to look at the products that you own. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go up to file and make a new notebook and you can call this notebook anything you want so I'm going to just call this sample or techie tips and now I have created a new notebook here let me go up to my notebooks as you can see I have several notebooks there is nothing in my sample for tacky tips, but if I wanted to move some things from the current products, all I need to do is right click a note. I want to copy to a notebook, left click there, and pick the notebook that I want to move it to, sample for tacky tips. Now, I wish that it actually typed it up here. It doesn't. It just kind of outlines it. But if, and I do need to make sure that I have checked preserve created and updated dates and also preserve tags. This one especially. You don't want to lose all the tags that are on this note. So I'm going to copy that. And now I've got one item in my sample for techie tips. Once that note is in your own notebook, you can edit it as much as you'd like. I could go through here and hold down the control key and click all the different products that I want to put in there. I'm just randomly clicking right now. And so now I've selected 10 notes. Copy those to a notebook. So I'm going to copy to notebook. I'm just clicking on any one of those. I'm going to move it to sample for techie tips. Because I had those highlighted, those 10 notes highlighted, I'm going to now copy. And now in my sample for techie tips, I have all those 11 products in here. So you can then look through just the products that you own. You will still have my current products notebook. Now you can delete that if you want. I would suggest to you that you want to hang on to that. Copy, keep that one there. And then every now and then go up to the sorting, sort by updated, sort reverse order, and then that puts all the products that I have added or changed recently. These were all done, updated on 9.12. I updated these to add the French translations in here. And so maybe you want to make sure and have the French translations or whatever changes in your notebook. So if you already had Witches Night in your in your own notebook. You will have it twice. Look for the one that was updated the most recently and delete the other one. If you only have the basic membership, not a problem. It's free. You can use my entire notebook and you can keep using that forever. However, you are limited to 60 millibytes of new uploads each month. However, keep adding the notes of products that you own to your notebook when it gives you the warning that you don't have enough data left. Just wait a month 
and then keep working. You might want to um, get the plus version, which is new. I haven't even really looked at this. You get a gig of new uploads each month. And you can get all of these extra um, options, features, offline access to notes on mobile. Um, and that's $25 a year. That might be fine. I have the premium version. That's $50 per year. And so I get 10 gigs of new uploads per month. This is worth it to me. It may not be worth it to you. You can choose your own um, your own benefits that you want. Without the premium, you may run into those limits on your data. Again, just wait a month. So I hope you enjoy Evernote and let me know if you need any help. Talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.